Hey everybody, Ultimate Oddball here. Today I'm going to discuss the future of autism. How autism is perceived in society and how autistic people are treated has changed and will continue to change. This will likely include everything from how doctors respond to autistic people to how society in general treats us and views our existence. There are many autistic people fighting for a better future for all of us with some non-autistic allies here and there and there have already been tremendous changes. I'm going to share my thoughts and hopes in this video today as I wrap up this series. Gone are the days in most countries when autistic people would be automatically put into an institution. While false treatment sold by heartless charlatans continues to be a major issue, some governments are taking notice and hopefully in a few years we won't see these scams happening anymore without serious threat of legal liability. Unfortunately, there is still the ripple effect caused by inaccurate claims of vaccine safety issues which used autism as a boogeyman to scare parents into refusing to vaccinate. As the public becomes better educated in regards to autism, we will inevitably see a shift away from accepting false narratives and unsubstantiated claims. Another result of inclusion of autistic people and more thorough education for the public in general will hopefully be a shift in how medical professionals perceive autism. Many doctors have a tenuous grasp on the autism spectrum as a whole, holding outdated notions of what an autistic person is and isn't. This often leads to misdiagnosis, lack of proper care, even gaslighting and other similar issues. Proper training, as well as inclusion of the autistic community in the development and strategies used in early intervention therapies is also something which will likely increase. Inclusion is, of course, the elephant in the room. Autistic people, as of now, are generally viewed as inferior, childlike people who deserve sympathy and pity. The fact is, we are human beings and we deserve to be treated as equals. Ableist discrimination is one of the biggest battles moving forward, both for the autism community and for the disability community in general. Too much of the autism narrative is controlled by non-autistic people, many of whom refuse to accept that they might not have their position if autistic people were included instead of being deemed incapable of anything, especially self-representation. Non-autistic people need to realize that it's not about them allowing us a seat at the table, it's the other way around. We, autistic people, are the autistic community. Non-autistic people are meant to support us, not steal our representation and use it to make money. It's up to each and every one of us what type of world we want to make for the next generation. It's too late to reverse the discrimination and unnecessary difficulties which many autistic people have dealt with due to societal ableism and being treated as inferior. Those of us fighting aren't fighting for us. We're fighting for the next generation of autistic people so they don't have to experience what previous generations have gone through. I hope you'll join us. Well, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming by. Have a great day. Hey everybody, Ultimate Oddball here. If you want to stay up to date with my videos, click subscribe. I release a new video on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I do gaming commentary and review. I talk about my experiences on the autism spectrum, and I share my opinions and thoughts on a variety of matters. My hope is that, through my videos, I can help to dispel some of the misinformation, confusion, and negativity people have regarding autism. Thank you for helping me do that by watching these videos. 